Hello, this is a note about making a raster navigation chart, an RNC chart, that's a BSB format, uh, from an image of the chart. And here we're using some uh, archived uh, uh, images of some training charts that are, that are archived at NOAA. And so uh, the first step would be to, it just makes it a little bit simpler, is to go into the chart and read off the latitude and longitude of the two corners. So you want that here, and you see that's like a longitude 72 degrees 15 minutes west and 4123 minutes north and then go down to the other corner down here and read this latitude and longitude off down here right at this point right on that intersection and, well you can read it as 4040 and uh, 7128 and write that down on a piece of paper that's going to help a little bit we, technically, you, you could do that within the program, but that makes it easier. Okay, so now we go to OpenCPN, and then you need the WeatherFacts plugin, and then I've just opened that plugin. Uh, there's a PC, ver the, there's not, in the, in the newest build, there's, I don't think WeatherFacts exists for the Mac, so you do this on a PC. Uh, then you do File, Open. Now, in principle, uh, let's see, Desktop, I have these sort here. Now, in principle, you could be able to use any format for this. But what I've found, and again, this just may be my experience, what I've found for the larger file sizes that a PNG is a, is a, seems to be the best. I have the best luck with those. So, and this we're using a file that's about 40, 39 megabytes size. Again, you could probably get by with cutting that in half and go down to 20, 10 megabytes and probably still get adequate resolution. But we'll, we'll just go ahead and use the one we've got, which is about 40 megabytes. And so that's a PNG file, and you just say that and then open. Now, um, let's see, that could take a while to open, but not that long. Look at that. That's not bad. Now, the chart is probably in there. Yeah, the chart's in there. There's just all that white at the top. And the first step here, we don't have to do anything. You can just leave all that the way default is and hit next. And now we have to, now we have to go down and see those corners. Uh, where are they? Um, Here's the one corner. And then we just have to keep in mind how this program works. So there's the corner we want, our first one. There's a, we're going to have two points, one on each end. One's a red one, one's the other one. And I'm just going to give this a name in case we, in case we make a mistake and have to come back. We save a little time. 13205TR. I'm just going to call our coordinates that. We're going to start out with a red one. And so we're going to go up here and click right here. So that's the red coordinate. Now we know from what, oh, and then click a latitude minutes. Okay, so we know what this is, and what was that top one is a is a top one is a latitude. You see top latitude line bottom. Okay, so we want the latitude of the top one is forty one twenty three. So that's forty one, and then this is just twenty three point oh oh, which we could just put that way. Then the longitude, it, we have to put the longitude for west as minus. So that was minus, I'm looking at my notes, 72.15, 72, and then we get here 15, right? That's that. Now, so let's go over here. Now we're going down to the green one, which is the second one, and that's going to be in the other corner. So we slide over to here, to this side of the chart, and then go down to the bottom. Now you see what I was talking about. You could, in fact, read that. You've got the charts. You got the chart here, and you could figure out that that was 4040, and that, that the other one is 7128. You could figure that out from here, but just a little bit easier the other way. Okay. So now, and then I click here, and I and this is green. So I'm going to click here and get the green ones, right there. Okay. There I got my green ones. And now I put in the numbers for that which were 40, 40, 40, 40, and then that's north, that's positive, and then this is a west, so that's a minus, and this one, looking at my notes, it was 71, 28, or you read it 
or you read it right off the screen. Okay, so that's all we need. In principle, we've got it. So we can, those are only two you use. You say, and look at all this. There's nothing to do here. Next, Mercator, perfect, next. And then that is it. And there's the chart, done. But that's not, that is, um, that's still basically viewing the geo-referenced image. That's not quite yet the CAP, K-A-P chart. But we can zoom in here and see, um, you know, see if things look right, like this point, right? See latitude, longitude down here in the bottom. Here we read this, and that's apparently 4100, 7150, right? 7150. Well, let's see where... Uh, Oh, let me just see where that is. Ah, oh, I've lost. Well, okay. So 7150, these will be right. You see, when you look in here, 7150 and so forth. So those, it actually works. And if you if you make a mistake, it'll be garbage, and then just throw it away and go back and load the one you put in and um, just fix it. So that's that. Now what we want to do is do File, Preferences, and I may have set the, oh yeah, no, it defaults to some big number like that. The actual KAP default is 128 colors. So I put 128 in here. I don't think the rest of that matters. The actual depth, fixed sounding data. See, I don't think it's going to read this. It's a mean low or low water. I don't think it's going to read that. And furthermore, it's not, this particular chart is feet. So it's going to come out wrong. But that, that's one of the issues. Okay, so let's just say okay. And that's done. Now, okay, so file, export, export, and export, and then um, uh, cap, tr1 cap, uh, image, it looks like there's already one in there with cap, but okay, that's okay, let's just say it's going to have that name, save, all right, that's done. Now, let me uh, close. We're done with that. Close that. And then uh, image cap. Uh, yeah, here's the one we just made. And let's see. Um, image cap, we fax. Now, that's one I made the other day. Oh, yeah, it's identical. So here's one I made this method the other day. And so what we want to do now is do a comparison that's the cap file, and I'll just do a comparison between that one that we made this way and the one that I have another video and article on is a lot longer and a little more involved here is making one with image cap. And, I, and, and I've summarized that other places. But up here on the top now are these two charts. These are the ones made with WeFax. I just now made it. And this is the one made with an image cap, which is a, has a, can create a better header. But let's just take a quick look r right now to show what the difference is on these two. Oh, I'm going to have to go in here and then go to the charts and have to add a directory uh, desktop. Desktop. That should do it. Okay, select folder. Apply. Okay, okay. Well, that's, that's okay. It's, I have some O charts that are dongles that are not showing up there. Oh, okay, so here we, oh, there's three of them up there. What's this one? So anyway, this one is the WeFax, the one we just made. And you see it's got, it's got the information in there, but it's not right. You see, it's, it's not a 84, WGS 84, it's NAD 83, the chart's actually in feet, and the scale's not 11,000, whatever that is. The scale is actually 80,000. This one's, I think, computing it based on the actual size of the whole image, not on the actual active area. So this one then, this is the one made from the image cap, which we do the other method, and you see it's got this information right, the feet, 1 to 80,000, and so on. However, there's a lot of work when you look at how much trouble that is to make that, and then when you actually go in here and look at, well, let's click this, and you look in here, and then say, let's, let's look at this part of the chart right here. Okay, so there's that chart. There's a section of the chart. This, which one is this one? This is the one with the image cap, which is a lot more work. And this is the one we just did here. Uh, let's see if that's right. Yeah, 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 WeFax. So you see there's that one, and there's that one. 
that one, that one. So for the actual chart itself, you might as well just go in and do this really slick functionality of the WeFax uh, plugin. And I'm going to stop this video here.